Emile Antoine Burdel was a prominent French sculptor and artist known for his monumental and expressive works. He played a significant role in the development of modern sculpture and was associated with the Symbolist and Art Deco movements. Burdel was born on October 30, 1861, in Montauban, France. He initially studied painting at the École de Beaux-Arts in Toulouse before moving to Paris in 1884 to pursue a career in sculpture. He became a student and assistant to the renowned sculptor Auguste Rodin, working closely with him for several years. Rodin's influence had a profound impact on Bordel's artistic development, and he developed a similar expressive and dynamic style. In the early years of his career, Bordel focused on small-scale sculptures, often exploring mythological and allegorical themes. However, he later shifted his attention towards monumental sculpture, creating larger-than-life works that showcased his technical skill and artistic vision. His sculptures often combined classical influences with a modern sensibility, emphasizing movement, rhythm, and emotional intensity. One of Burdell's most famous works is the monumental sculpture Heracles Archer, created between 1909 and 1912. This sculpture, which stands over 15 feet tall, portrays the mythical hero Hercules drawing his bow with tremendous force and concentration. It exemplifies Burdell's ability to capture strength and power in his sculptures. Burdell also created numerous public monuments, including the Monument to the Dead of the 14th Arrondissement in Paris and the Monument to General Alvier in Buenos Aires. His works can be found in various museums and collections worldwide, including the Musée Burdell in Paris, which was established in his former studio and houses a significant collection of his sculptures, drawings, and personal belongings. In addition to his sculptural work, Burdell was also a talented teacher and mentor to many aspiring artists. He taught at the Académie de la Grande Chaumière and later established his own art school, the Académie de la Grande Chaumière, where he emphasized the importance of studying from nature and developing a strong understanding of anatomy. Emile Antoine Burdell passed away on October 1, 1929, in Louvesnet, France. His contributions to the field of sculpture continue to be recognized and celebrated, and his powerful and dynamic works remain influential in the world of art. <laughs>